Hello everybody, welcome to Speak Up. This is my show and I ask many questions to the guests and that's me early. So today we have a very special guest and that's Borna Apu. So Apu, how are you today? Uh, I'm super energetic today. You know why? Because it feels like it's my coming back to home, oh. finally. So Apu, can you introduce yourself shortly please? Sure, my name is Asim Borno, but my short name is Borno. Uh, I study in Dhaka in Eden College and also uh, I'm planning to go to America very soon. Oh, so Apu, I heard that you got 7 in IELTS, so how did you get that? Okay, how did I get that? It's really easy. It was easy for me, yet it's really hard for other people because IELTS is a wide sector of English. But it, it, why has it been easy for me? The answer is I've been engaged with English from the very beginning of my life. I've been the part of Speak Up from the last five or six years. And what you're doing right now, interviewing me, questioning me, standing here in front of all the people. I've been doing this for the last five years, okay? So yeah, it was really easy, but I had to work hard. It, it, it took a lot of hard working also. Oh, that's great. So Apu, you know that English is very important for us. So can you suggest us how to develop it? Okay, if you uh, use the word develop, that's the word also I should be using for me because I developed myself. Uh, whatever I am right now you've seen is, is the developed version of me. From uh, back to the five years ago or at that time, I wasn't this Borno. I couldn't even talk much. I couldn't even uh, pronounce the perfect word perfectly. So uh, I developed myself and what oh. I did was I focused on grammar, I focused on the uh, speaking side also, also the listening side because if you don't listen English correctly, you cannot pronounce it correctly. Yeah. And I had to work a lot on my writing because once upon a time in my high school, the paragraph I used to write and right now the paragraph I write, there's a lot difference. Oh, that's very good. Yes. Uh, that's a and if I make that clear, you have to practice English very much. You will have to learn the culture yeah. and you will have to um, determine that you will learn English. Yeah, we will try our best. So, Apu, can you give us some advice for practicing English? Like, how to practice English? How to practice English? Okay. I must say, this girl, whatever she is doing, you also can do. You also can follow her. You also can Thank follow you. me. Because whatever I'm doing right now, whatever she's doing right now, look, she's just a girl. Can, can I ask you a question? In of course, which why Which class not? do you read in? I study in class 7. No way. You're in class 7? Okay. Yeah. Okay. You're much better than me. Because in <laughs> class 7, when I was in class 7, I wasn't like her at all. So you can follow her, you can follow me, you can follow every student here. They work so hard, they try to get wherever they dreamt of, they just practice English every day. May I ask you, how many times do you practice grammar? Uh, I practice grammar two days and spoken two days. See. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. I also practiced grammar and speaking together. That is why today I'm here. That is why I got seven overall in IELTS. And oh. that's why I think I am able to dream that I will go to the other side of the world. I will explore or maybe um, I will have chance also, right? So just I, my advice is practice English, love English and just do what you're doing. It will help us a lot. So, Apple, what's your future plan? I mean, what do you want to do in future? In future, I want to complete my higher studies. Uh, I, I have uh, already started that process. Uh, I'm, I am a student of Niagara University, which is which is located in New York and I am a student of business administration department. Okay, so uh, that's my dream. That's my right now. That's my goal that I will finish my higher education and then maybe I'll think about how to like how to set up my life. Oh, that's great. And I hope that you will do your best in your future. 
Thank you very much. So, Apu, you say that uh, it's a comeback for you in Speak Up. You were an ex-ex student uh, yeah. in Speak Up, yes. right? So, do you love Speak Up? <laughs> That's a great point because, yeah, I love Speak Up. And if I have to talk about Speak Up, it's never-ending discussion, okay? <laughs> yeah. But if I just talk shortly that Speak Up is much more than a family to me. Speak Up is much more than just a coaching center for me because I, I have uh, em emotionally attached to this coaching center from a very long time. Also, if I speak about Russell Sir, he's my teacher, he's my mentor, he's my idol, also he's my brother because my mom considers him as, he, as her elder son and oh. then my brother and then me. So whenever it's uh, even now, in, even now in the just the political issues of the country right now, she's very worried about sir. She's very worried about uh, our Adrian and everybody. So I, I just say that speak up is much more than family to me, and I love it because That's also for us also. Yeah, and uh, if I talk about the educational sector, it's definitely worth of it because speak up is the only coaching center right now which uh, shows the way to learn grammar and speaking at the same time. Yeah, because yeah. I think if you just uh, focus on the grammar, you won't be able to learn yeah, English yeah. perfectly. Also, if you just uh, focus on the speaking, well, there's nothing to speak about with the grammar, right? Yeah. So you have to focus uh, in both sectors. In both. Yeah, definitely. So I think I love, I love speak up as much as you do. Yeah, I also love speak up a lot. So that's all for today. I don't have any other questions. Okay. So I'll, uh, I love being talked to you a lot. Thank so you very much. That's all for today. No more uh, today. So see you in the next video and connect with us, everybody.